dear viewers and subscribers welcome again to our youtube channel max the service please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to receive all notifications regarding any video we are uploading on this channel okay guys today we are going to discuss circuit breaker design patterns this is very important and very interesting design patterns first of all i am going to show you because in nowadays micro services era of architecture design we have number of services those services can be same kind of let's suppose this service is kind of login and service b is also log your login service you can have only one service with one functionality with more than one service with one functionality another case is let's suppose your uh, service this service is of uh, uh, login 1 and login 2 okay and someone from anywhere from the web it access your service is it tries to login into your application through api gateway then definitely we have configured in our registration we have configured that okay let's suppose this user is from pakistan okay let's suppose it is from pakistan so definitely this service we will deploy in pakistan zone and let's suppose this service is also in pakistan okay and this one is in usa okay usa and this is this one is in india okay great now we have three service with the same functionality i and d sorry guys okay now these services login 1 login login 3 we have provided these three services for only login mechanism if someone tries to login and he is from pakistan and this service become down okay db or any service become down and it will response uh, with some uh, failure response or something down services down some whatever we have configured so what we will do we will definitely route this request to service b but this will become a problem because a request a login from usa it will take some time maybe some millisecond or seconds but that we cannot afford because we have distributed environment and we have same service in zoom level because uh, enterprise or any application is deployed on cloud and we don't want to have any delay in the response then definitely because we went for this architecture design to avoid delay definitely it we will choose then india because india is our neighbor country and it will go to that service to get the login okay when this scenario becomes uh, challenging let's suppose if uh, uh, because we have to uh, change the zone and we have to deploy the number of services and uh, this is the alternate solution let's suppose we don't want uh, this uh, limitation of timing and delay in the response what can i do anything else let's suppose okay we have covered this problem okay if user is not getting login with service near to this user in pakistan then either user is able to get login with from service from usa but it is impacting on the delay so let's suppose we configured okay if uh, again uh, user receive failure then we can uh, instruct api gateway to go and get the login from service a because in the meanwhile uh, technical team get that service up and it will uh, continue as usual okay but this is a temporary uh, not a valid and a good solution this is a solution but not a good solution to avoid all of this i want that okay 
आई वांट अ मैकेनिज्म हियर ओके प्लीज कीप टेस्टिंग वेन एवर दिस सर्विस इज अप इट शुड बी री राउट माई रिक्वेस्ट टू अगेन सर्विस ए बिकॉज इट इज नियर टू मी I don't want delay in the response because that service is in USA. Okay, for that we have circuit breakers, and circuit breakers. What configuration in circuit breaker? Who will let me show you in another diagram? Uh, what kind of features and uh, configuration we have, guys? In this uh, diagram, you can see that uh, circuit breaker have different option. Either it will be closed. or it will be open or half open so these three option uh, will be uh, any one option will be at a time so first of all circuit breaker will remain close if you are accessing your service um, from uh, anywhere and uh, it if there is no any issue then it will keep close here you can set the parameters like entry reset failure count let's suppose you entered threshold uh, like of 30 request okay if someone uh, accessing your service and it becomes 30 failures 1 2 3 every every time it is throwing failure then it will uh, re, uh, count the failure and return back after reaching threshold threshold when it reached 30 failure it will become open okay now uh, your circuit breaker will be in open state why because 30 consecutive uh, failures happened and now we have routed this we have configured circuit breaker okay please open and don't allow any request to be hit and access this service like we have uh, uh, like we have discussed in previous slide so now it's our api gateway configuration to route the same request to other service but how to get it back then there is a time out ex expiration this uh, open circuit we will configure time out expiry let's suppose after after 20 seconds okay after 20 seconds it will check either a uh, test request either it is accessible your service is accessible or not after this time period uh, it will check if time time out expired then it will become half open okay why it is become half open uh, when your circuit breaker is in the state of half open just to test either i am able to access the service or not okay if operation succeed then it will allow your circuit breaker to in again close state otherwise it return failure and it will remain open so so these are the configuration we can set uh at what time how many counters how much threshold everything we can configure okay let's suppose there are 30 consecutive request failure then please become open and after some time like 20 seconds it uh, let's become uh, half open and check either that service is available or not if it is available uh, take the circuit breaker open sorry closed otherwise keep it open okay Uh, i also explain another slide you will get uh, more understanding in this slide you can see okay here api gateway implemented circuit breakers and retries four time duration is 2 seconds exceptions allowed 100 times check circuit 30 every 30 second it will check circuit breaker and after it how many tries it done four because our thresh, threshold is uh, more than 4 so after 4 tries it is uh, my your micro service is down okay your micro service is down and you are not able to access your circuit will remain open call to micro service immediately 
allow one call every 30 second to check state. So these are the configuration in previous slide I showed you that I, in with your circuit breaker becomes open, you can just uh, check after 30 seconds, check this service, either it is uh, up and running back or not. Okay. And the same, uh, let's suppose after two tries, if it will become open, then your circuit be, uh, breaker will become closed. Let me show you. Okay, in this slide you can see that after two tries, one and two, on third try it becomes available and your sur circuit breaker become closed. So because you, this service is available. Uh, if it takes four tries, five, five tries, what we have configured and it say that okay if this service is down then with the help of open api gateway we can route that service on that request to other same service if we have only one service then we have to wait until unless this service become open because we don't want to uh, get the things done it's circuit breaker functionality it will keep checking after mention time okay if there are uh, 30 tries after uh, uh, after 30 tries failure it will become close open and after open uh, I will check after timeout let's suppose 20 second is timeout then what I will do uh, I will again check either this service available or not so in other diagram let me show you in more detail okay in this diagram you can see that it will uh, it is very clear and uh, helpful for you let's suppose first of all client with request and we have implemented circuit breaker okay our design pattern in api gateway our circuit breaker design pattern will check either it is open okay it will reject immediately because okay service is not available i, I will not pass on this request if circuit breaker is closed okay it will forward your request to service okay and it will return response done let's suppose after some failure count it is getting success it's okay if it is not success what will happen because we configured uh, 30 times 30 tries if th after 30 tries we can we can also configure five any number of if after account becomes 30 and service is not available yet it will implement count and again it will if threshold reach which is 30 if reach then circuit breaker will become open now your request will never be get success we can configure any cache result or any default response if service is not available other option is we can reroute that request to other same service to get the things done okay now after some time because circuit is in open state after some time it will try let's suppose your uh, uh, it will become uh, after your uh, timeout let's suppose you uh, mentioned timeout 20, 20 second okay after 20 seconds it will become half open to test either service is available or not your sir uh, your request landed circuit breaker it check the status okay if it's, it is half open allow limit last request limited uh, lo test request sorry allowed limited test request it will test the service here you can see if it is success then reset failure count and close circuit then because we have tested with half open if it is success then it will mark the your circuit breaker status with closed and rest of your request will be continuously accessing the service and getting the proper response if on test when your circuit breaker is half open and still it is uh, not success okay it is still failure then from half open to it will set to open again and it will again 
wait for the time out and then after time out it will again become half open and then whatever the response is if success then closed if failure then again open so this is the whole scenario and uh, in practical example in real world example you can see when you uh, pass on uh, in real world example you can all also find number of examples in uh, your daily usage uh, at home you also because this idea becomes from the your circuit electric circuit at home whenever there is shock there is uh, connections issue because your breaker get down and uh, supply stop pass on so this is very good uh, design pattern and mostly and very important to use in today's our microservice architecture layer so uh, most of the open api gateways most of the api gateways uh, also provide this feature where we can implement and uh, in next slide i will implement with microservices in java and i i will show you how it works practically thank you for watching my youtube channel max the service bye okay please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet and also do like share in your circle these videos and also provide your valuable comments and uh, i hope you will be liking and sharing uh, so that i will be continuing with rest of the uh, technologies and tools sharing with you thanks